wanted to show you this one here I'm doing today. It's that uh, favorite color of mine, the 41V. So I'm in this nice new booth with the full grates, downdraft, and I wanted to show you this one as I spray it and show you how nice it'll come out in here with this uh, full pit. So let's show you the job real quick. So we got it. It's got a repair on the door, the quarters of blend. We got a skin on the front. A little repair on the bumper. And a used fender. So that's the job right now that we're starting out with. So stay tuned as we spray this one with the DV1, guys. Got it sealed. Everything's sealed up, and that's the uh, P30 with the the P30 with the sealer converter in it. Look how nice of a coat it lays on that sealer, guys. That thing puts out a beautiful, nice flat coat for a sealer. And I said we skin these doors. Look how nice that seam sealer looks. Beautiful. And one thing I always I want to show you guys is when you're doing a skin make sure you paint the top lip of this door here I see a lot of guys when we take cars apart they don't paint this edge after something's been skinned you got to make sure you get paint on that because that's where it's going to pinch on with the weather strip and the belt molding so pay attention and make sure you get to all the areas that need painting when you're doing a skin because otherwise you're going to have corrosion later guys so just something I thought I'd show you guys that I like to make sure I get paint on every little area that way there's no corrosion no problems later on and you get a good job so everything's sealed and uh, we're just doing a little spot on this bumper this bumper is beat up bad so it's not gonna look too good it's, it's all peppered up with rock chips and everything so it's just the side so I hate when they look like that but I gotta just do what they want so I hit it with as best that I could to smooth it down and try to get rid of some of it. But it is what it is on this. And uh, stay tuned for the base. Guys, I was looking at the cap on the DV1. I was cleaning it out and I noticed something on it that was a lot different than any of the other guns. If you look at your cap on the inside, it's round like a bowl. See how that looks like a bowl?
almost flashed off now. I'm going to blow on it a little bit with a handheld blower. But like I said, we're going to be putting the one up in the corners. The backup system's going in this one next. Because this is an older uh, booth, but it doesn't have the uh, air movement or the two speed motors in it. So I made a call and they're going to be putting in the Becca stuff soon. So that'll speed up the drive times. I had the Becca one in the old booth that I showed you guys in the old videos. So if you guys are new to the channel, check out the old videos of the other booth I was spraying in with the Becca system in it. It had a nice blower system in it. So we're going to be putting them in here. And that'll speed this booth up a lot because this booth only cranks up to about 90 to spray heat and that's plenty of heat if you got the blowers but without the blowers it's not enough air movement so we're going to be uh kicking the, this thing in kicking it into full speed with the blowers in it so i'll be able to get out of these booths faster get out of the cycle times faster and paint more cars so stay tuned as i put the second coat on guys one more of the uh, base coat down and then we'll start candying it guys so stay tuned to that gonna check it in the dark make sure we're covered guys you want to make sure you check for coverage on these colors like these I'm in the dark I got the light just checking it out making sure we're covered the last thing you want to do is pull one of these out and see you got a spot that's light so turn the lights off in the booth get your sunlight check your color make sure you got coverage on it we're good to go here so we're gonna hit it with the candy now. So we got both of the uh, mid coats on guys. I'm only putting two of the mid on it and I wanted to show you something cool. We're spraying with the new technology of the DV1, but this is an old DeVilvis uh, booth. So I wanted to show you guys this booth on the outside, the name of it, because it's a DeVilvis too. So hang tight a minute. And that's a DeVilvis Concept Cured Downdraft, guys. All right, guys, here goes the clear. You know we're using the DV1 for the clear with the 1.3 in it. So here goes nothing, guys. We used the DV1 for the base, the DV1 for the clear, and the DeVilvis uh, booth. So let's see how we get this job to come out. Guys. a minute we're gonna hit it with the second coat almost like a three minute uh, flash time and almost come right back on it guys
check it out all done dv1 base dv1 clear laid out like glass guys job came out beautiful clean i told you i love that 41v guys so i don't think i sprayed the 41v last time with this gun so i wanted to spray it again with the dv1 and see how it came out but look at it nice and beautiful clean just another good job guys so can't beat them dv1 guns so guys thanks for watching the video i hope you liked it hit the subscribe button for more good videos to come guys